Okay, so now we're finally down to the last component. We've done the first top three. So we've done the tabletop, the underplate, and the leg holder. Now we're going to have a go at modeling up these legs. So we're going to have a go at creating these legs to bring into our assembly. So this is just to be a normal solid model. Um, and we're going to bring this into the assembly after we've created it. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe. This is Guide to SolidWorks. And let's jump in to creating the leg. Now the new part is going to be the legs. So to create the legs, I'm going to go on the front plane and I'm going to create a sketch on that front plane. What I'm going to do first of all is get a center line and set the distance between the top and the bottom of the legs, which are going to be two bars that effectively cross the uh, bottom of the table and the floor. That distance is going to be 545 up, like so. And that's going to be the distance between the center of both of my legs. Okay, so I've put down two circles for the bottom and the top of the leg. Set them to a size. I want them to be 20 mil. So they're very big at the moment. Let's shrink them down. 20 mil. Now I could have set a relationship between them and make them both 20 mil off one diameter, but that's just the other way of doing it. Now I've got them circles in place. I'm going to go to features and I'm going to extrude that out. So if I extrude that to the distance that I want, which is 250, that is just going to come out one way so from that center line, which is fine, but for modeling later on, that could make it a little bit awkward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want the center of this rod here to be in line with the center of this, um, in line with this center line. So what I do with that is I go to the direction options here where it says blind, drop that down, and I go to mid plane and you'll see it all shifts along. So it's going out 125 mil that way and 125 mil the other way. Tick there and I get that down the center. Okay. Last part to this is I want my uh, connection between these two, which is a, a, a rectangular shape connection. So I'm going to go on the front plane again. And this is where doing the mid plane part helps us out. Because if I sketch on that, and I put another center line in. Drop that from the center of that circle to the bottom here. I can now know that the bit that I'm modeling is slack bang in the center of them two rods that I created. And uh, I want a rectangle shape to fit in between. So I'm going to take the center line here and I'm going to offset this center line out both ways. Now it's 15 milli wide, so I'm going to go 7.5 out each way. Now, if you're getting it so there's only one line like that, I want you to hit the bi-directional and it'll put both lines 7.5 mil out both sides, which will give you a 15 mil gap. Once you're happy that's there, tick, zoom in, and you'll see it's open shape at the top. We close that shape off just to make it easier for ourselves. Um, do the same at the bottom. And you'll see now it grays out, which means it's a closed profile. Um, if we go to features, extrude that, and you'll see it'll pull out. Now our previous distance was 250, we don't want 250, we want it to come out the 15, 30, sorry. We want it to come out 30, so we'll just bring it out 30 one way. Doesn't matter which way we bring it out 30, we just bring it out that way, that's fine. Now what we want to do is create a circle in the center of here. So. I'm going to select this side here, sketch on that face. I'm going to take a center line. I'm going to find the midpoint of this line here. Drop, grab that and go straight across to the one on the other side. Zoom right in. We've got our center line here. So if I take a circle, and drop that in the center of that line, I know that's right in the center of my uh, rectangle area. I want to make a hole with that circle of 8.5 milli diameters, 8.5 make that the right size that just allows me a bit of clearance from m8 bolt that's going to go through there let's go to features cut and i'm going to cut through that section material which gives me the hole that i'm after and that is how i create my leg so that's the leg created for assembling this um uh, we've got two legs but we don't only need to create one um, we can assemble it and drop this model in twice so if i save that now file save as we're going to go leg, but we'll go leg two. Save that. 
and that's our, that's our final part of our assembly. We just need to make sure that we've got our material on there. So if I check, click um, and edit that material, now I want to galvanize this because obviously the legs are going to be uh, out in the weather. It's more likely they're going to be in more contact with the weather. So let's say galvanized steel. So we'll get some galvanized steel here, drop that on, apply that to it, and close. And we'll see it's just changed color slightly. Save that again, make sure it's saved how we want it. And then I'm now going to open up an assembly. So file, new, assembly, and okay that. 